Welcome to the rocket profile of the Vulcan Centaur rocket, the upcoming launch vehicle from United Launch Alliance. The successor to the Atlas V and Delta IV, Vulcan came about primarily because the Atlas V used the Russian RD-180 engine and the US Defense Department, ULA's most important customer, no longer thought relying on that engine for national security missions was a good idea and wanted a rocket with US designed and manufactured engines. Rather than using the kerosene oxygen mix of Atlas's first stage or the hydrogen oxygen on Delta IV, Vulcan will use methane and oxygen, employing two BE-4 engines from Blue Origin to do so. The performance of the BE-4 is not finalized, but my best estimate is a sea level thrust of around 2,368 kilonewtons and a vacuum thrust of 2,647 kilonewtons with a vacuum specific impulse of around 341 seconds. That performance plus the known performance of the upper stage's RL-10CXs allow the rocket to carry its stated payload targets. The first stage burns for about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. In addition to the first stage, the rocket will generally make use of GEM 63XL solid fuel boosters, two of which were on the rocket in the video. These provide a maximum thrust of 1,008.7 kilonewtons at sea level with an ISP of 250 seconds and 2,025.8 kilonewtons in vacuum with an ISP of 275 seconds. The burn time is about a minute and 24 seconds. Without boosters, the Vulcan Centaur can carry 10.6 tons to low Earth orbit at 28.7 degrees. With two, it can carry 18.5 tons, which is the payload mass tested in this video. With 4, the capacity is 23.9 tons, and with 6, the maximum it is intended to have, the capacity is 27.2 tons. The gap between the 0 booster capacity and the 2 booster capacity seems to indicate that the rocket will be underfueled when it doesn't have boosters, which would probably be advisable since the thrust weight ratio is otherwise abysmal. The second stage of the rocket is the Centaur 5, stylized Centaur V which at 5.4 meters is wider than the 3.05 meter Centaur on Atlas and also the old 4.3 meter Centaurs used on Titan. It features two RL-10CXs, which burn liquid hydrogen and oxygen to each provide 106 kilonewtons of thrust with a 453.8 second ISP in vacuum for a maximum of around 19 minutes. ULA has paid lip service to reuse with its smart reuse concept, which would have the first stage engines detach and descend via parachute to be caught mid-air by a helicopter. However, reuse concepts have been abundant all the way back to the 1960s, including the catching of the entire first stage of Saturn V by a helicopter, and we will have to wait and see if smart reuse actually gets funded or tested. At the moment, it is not built into the design of Falcon Centaur. The first launch of Vulcan Centaur is currently scheduled for no earlier than 2022. And with that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Vulcan Centaur.